What is happening, YouTube? I'm the Latino nerd coming at you. Uh, oh boy, WWE 2K17. It's been a while since it uh, got released. Uh, had a chance to play it on the Xbox One. I don't think there's uh, much of a difference gameplay-wise between Xbox One and PS4. But boy, boy, boy. All right, things I, I enjoyed about this game. This game, uh, better graphics, the roster is much better, it's bigger, there's a lot more NXT people, there's, uh, the, the four horsewomen are in it, uh, the, the roster is just huge, huge, and you know what, that, that's, that's pretty much all I can, I can think of positives for this game, online is still, eh, it's still, eh, you know, <laughs> it's still, the online still has the same problems that every two, WWE 2K game has. But, uh, that's, that leads me towards the negatives. There's a lot of negatives about this game. My career got worse, guys. My career got worse. So in 2K16, WWE 2K16, uh, there was a feature where your character, your superstar that you create, uh, he gets interviewed. And then you pick uh, the answers, and all depending on what you pick, you either go face or you're heal, you get aggressive, you get all these different traits, which is cool. But now what they added in this one is promos, and at first when I thought, when I heard of the promos, I was like, oh, this is really cool, I get to hear my character sit, like do these promos, it's going to be great, and it's going to like gel well with the story in my career. And then they cut off all the audio. It's like you, you you barely you barely hear the crowd, which is another thing I have to get to. And it's just like this is basically what it is. You don't hear anything. You you see the subtitles of what the per, your person's supposed to say, but it's as if 2K completely forgot to add in the audio of your character. And my career really it's just it's 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 the same it's the same as the last as last year except it's different it's just different people sorted in and i know brock lesnar was uh is huge in the, in this game right now because he's the cover guy and basically in 2k16 you got to choose to be either for with the authority or against the authority and depending on what you choose that plays out for the rest of your my career this one, you get to be a Paul Heyman guy. You can either be a Paul Heyman guy, or you go against a Paul Heyman guy, which then you go against Brock Lesnar. But, it's the same thing. There, there really is no difference. All they did was replace the authority with Paul Heyman. There's no difference in the game. And that, that's just the my career. The WWE Universe, it's, it's laid out a bit nicer than the one before, but it's still the same universe mode. It's the same exact universe mode, except this time they added the theme music for uh, Raw and Smack for all the brands, Raw, SmackDown, NXT, all that. And you get to pick the commentators, but th there really is no point in picking the commentators, except like the, the difference is Jerry the King Lawler is on SmackDown and Michael Cole is on uh, Raw, and it's just that, that really isn't a difference. And. Yeah, you can create. It's it's the same. It's honestly, it's the same exact game, just with minor tweaks, and that's that's no good. Like there's been people YouTube's were relate uh, that that are saying buy this game anyway if you love wrestling. Like no, no. What 2K has done with WWE games now is they're trying to catch up to what the WWE games did ten years ago. Like this. <laughs> Like, everything, like, and the backstage brawls is one of the new things. And everyone was excited for it. Everyone. Everyone was excited for the backstage brawls, but guess what? It's not new. It's new for 2K. It's new for this game. But it's not new for the games in general. Like, honestly, the only, and I, I'm not even done with the things I'm wrong with it. But the, the backstage brawls, they're, they're good if you're playing with your with a friend. Like, this game is good if you have a friend who's really into wrestling, if, if you're into wrestling. But honestly, just from a single-player perspective, th this game isn't that good. Because the... And I'm not even going to... I didn't even dive into the gameplay yet. 
but the the my career in universe mode which is because there's no 2k showcase because in the previous games there's showcase highlighting the career of the superstar that's on the cover and basically this year they took that out and it's just my career universe mode online is still has still the same uh, buffering problems loading problems and you know the the my universe the universe mode and the my career mode are have a lot of flaws it's as if they didn't improve from what they got last year and just said fuck it let's just make it do it uh, or yeah screw it let's just make it uh the same thing just make it look better and the loading the loading time is still long it's 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 not as long as years before but they distract you with the the theme playing and it's still uh, the gameplay they introduced targeting indicators, and I, 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 I will not lie to you. I had SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 for the Xbox 360 when it first came out. Those targeting indicators are much better than whatever 2K produced for this game. Because those targeting indicators are trash. Trash. Even if you turn them off, it's still trash. And the, the whole thing with the triple threat and fatal four way that they put in or the multi-man matches is that it, it, if let's say a computer player of the CPU gets knocked down the triple threat and it's not like, oh, you're, he's just on the floor, don't worry about him. No, they put in something where he rolls out of the ring. The problem is they do that with everyone, even your own character. If your character gets gets down, gets knocked down, he rolls out of the ring. And then you're stuck mashing buttons, trying to get your character up, moving the right stick or whatever. And then you could actually lose the match because your character had the animation, the built-in animation, to roll out of the ring. And that, that can be annoying. It's, it's, it's one of those things where it's not annoying. It's only annoying if it doesn't happen to you. That, that's, it's one of those kind of animations. It's only annoying if it doesn't happen to you. And that's something they need to fix. It was great if it's great if you're if it's a triple threat and you're you're dominating. But uh, the gameplay is just the 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 they, they, the reverses are are better, but the submission is still I, I I don't know what's I don't know what's up with the submissions. It's still the same like using the right stick, which is good the, the kind of mini game. It's still decent, but it's there really isn't much of a change. Unless, unless you really want to play with the new, like AJ Styles, Samojo, if you really want to play with those guys, and you're really hard on playing with those guys, this to me is like those Madden games that you should skip. They should just skip, because that that's what 2K is. When 2K makes NBA 2K games, there's always that one where you skip because the my career isn't as good. Uh, the only reason you would actually play it is for the my park. Uh, my team and just to play with the updated rosters but the thing is that 2k doesn't do that with WWE they only do my career universe mode and online they used to do 2k showcase I don't know if they're gonna continue 2k showcase for the upcoming games but they it's it's as if 2k is is trying to do everything that w, that THQ who is now bank who was bankrupt I think five years ago They've been bankrupt for a long time. They're, they no longer exist. But when they used to make the games, the, it was the gameplay and the graphics weren't as good as 2K is right now, but everything else was better than what 2K is giving out right now. The only advantage 2K has on the THQ games is that it looks better and it has the rosters, which the rosters, it's not THQ or 2K's fault, it's just WWE. And I was a big pro I was big proponent of uh, the whole brand split, but come on, like the brand split isn't coming this game. And they could have made it so it could be like a little preview of what's coming out, where you pick the brand. But it's the same exact thing. It's the same exact thing from the previous games. There really is no incentive to play WWE Universe mode. There really is no incentive to play my career mode when it's the same exact career mode, minus a lot of the audio. And it's just Paul Heyman switched in for the authority. There really isn't that much of an incentive to play. 
and it's it's sad because 2K seems like they they're they're committed but they're not putting in enough effort into this game. And honestly, if I was looking to buy WWE 2K17, I just wait till it goes on sale because it's not worth the $60 to be honest. To be completely honest with you guys, I wouldn't buy the game at the full price. I'll probably wait till it's on sale on PlayStation on the PSN store or at a GameStop or a Best Buy. I would not buy this game at full price. This game has a lot of issues that I don't even think 2K18 is going to fix. And it's really far behind from what it used to be. But that's my that, that's my review of the game. What do you guys think of the game? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm the Latino Nerd. Stay tuned. Keep watch on my channel for the Walking Dead Season 1 live streams. That's my the game I'm currently live streaming right now. We are on episode 3, I believe. So be on the lookout for that live stream. And I will see you guys later. Or soon. Or whenever. Gracias.